Is it Taco Tuesday yet? I think it is, because today we're making the best refried beans ever. And you can thank me later. So let's get started. Today, for this, you're going to need, I'm sure in your household, it's called a potato masher. And growing up, this was called the bean masher. You didn't know it by the potato masher because we ain't mashing potatoes, we mashing beans. Um, my family, half of it is from Guatemala. The other half is from Honduras. And yes, I am Central American, but I was born here. So there you have it. Can't send me back. Anyway, you're gonna need a can opener potato masher. Yes, you're going to need Crisco. I prefer using the vegetable oil or canola oil, but look, whatever you got, whatever you fry with, have at it. This is what you're going to need. This is the main ingredient, Blue Runner Original red beans. Yes, I'm from the South. Yes, this says Creole. It says Creole cream style on it. I'm not sure if you can get your hands on this can, but if you can, honey, you will thank me later. This is going to be the best refried beans ever. Okay, so let's get started. During the quarantine, and we're kind of still in the quarantine, all I do is cook clean, workout, sleep, repeat. And I don't know about you, but I feel like the kitchen has been my new home. And I've been having to cook so much more that I feel like I'm starting to like it when I hate it so much. Okay, but today is refried beans, Taco Tuesday, ole, let's go. So open up your can of beans. And you're going to need some kind of a long spoon or whatnot to scoop it all out. So put on your fire because it's time to cook your beans. I like to leave my um, heat typically on medium or a little bit on the higher side of medium because we're about to refry these beans. So it's gonna need to get kind of crispy up in here. Not crispy, but you know, fry or whatever. Um, so make sure you get all of these succulent beans out of here so that we're not wasting a drop. Okay. Once you have your beans in the pan, I'm gonna show you. Okay, you have your beans in the pan, right? Okay, I'm only gonna make a small can just for the demo, but normally I would buy the bigger bottle. So you're going to pour in, I eye it about that much. If you had to measure this out, it's probably a quarter cup. And you are going to mash these babies. Yes, you, you hear it sizzling? It needs to do that, it's refrying them. And you're going to mash them until they are smooth. I actually really enjoy cooking on camera. Okay, I got mine a little bit on too high, so I'm, I'm just putting it down just a notch, just a notch, but you're going to keep mashing them.
My favorite thing to eat with uh, refried beans is fried plantains. I don't know uh, if you've ever had that before, but if you haven't, it really is delicious. And um, you should definitely give it a try. I fry the plantains in coconut oil and it's really delicious. You have that with a scoop of refried beans and a dollop of daisy or sour cream. So you're gonna wanna hit this on the side of the pan to get all of the beans off. And now that you've smashed it to smithereens and it's all nice and smooth, no clumps, you're gonna take your spoon and you're just gonna make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan. You're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes on high medium and make sure you're really frying it down. Sometimes I add just a little bit more because I can tell the consistency of the beans. I'll just add a cap full of oil more. and then just stir. You're gonna notice that when the whole thing just starts to move around in the pan by itself, and you're not have it's not sticking to the pan anymore because of the oil. Just make sure you get all the stuff stuck on the sides over here. Make sure that it's not sticking. There's an arm work out. Okay, we fast forwarded and that's about it. Your beans are now refried and ready to eat, and it's going to be the best fried beans, refried beans that you've ever had in your entire life, and you can thank me later. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to be doing Tuesdays, I'm going to be cooking from now on. I would like to do a new theme every Tuesday on cooking something new, and so catch me back here on Tuesdays if you want to see something else that I have in store for you to eat because it's one of my favorite things to do. So have a great day. Like and subscribe. Bye.